Is integrating technology into instruction a worthy pursuit? And if it is, how do we begin to integrate technology into our instruction? I'd suggest that by choosing this course, you've already begun to believe that it is a valuable quest. As teachers, we are passionate about preparing students to better navigate the world ahead of them. And as part of that process, we seem to be convinced that their exposure and interaction with technology is inevitable. We also believe that in order to be successful, students will need to be competent with using and understanding technology. Our feelings are not solely based on our gut feelings. Research has shown that technology has had a positive impact on learning. There have been several studies over the last decade around technology in classrooms. Teachers are using video in big numbers to record lectures and demonstrate concepts and skills. Teachers are also developing lessons requiring students to use databases, multimedia software, and data collection technologies, which have been shown to help increase understanding and learning. When applied effectively, technology increases learning, understanding, and achievement, and motivates students to learn, collaborate, and develop critical thinking. We've likely learned about Bloom's taxonomy, a process to classify the different learning objectives that teachers set for students. While it's long believed that technology can be used to provide immediate feedback to students for drill and practice types of learning, technology can also be used as a tool to support learning objectives, collection of and evaluation of information, and technology can support learning objectives on any spectrum of Bloom's taxonomy. McGrell International is a nonprofit, nonpartisan education research and development organization that turns knowledge about what works in education into practical, effective guidance and training for K-12 teachers and education leaders across the U.S. and around the world. In 2007, researchers at McGrell, including Howard Pittler, Elizabeth Hubble, and Matt Kuhn, took sound strategies for teaching and organized them into a framework for planning instruction. These strategies can serve teachers to create an environment for learning for students. Additionally, the researchers have developed nine categories of instructional strategies that teachers can use along with the instructional planning framework to better help students recall prior knowledge, construct meaning, organize and store information, and make predictions. These instructional strategies have been consolidated into the table as shown here. Thinking about instructional strategies in terms of these nine categories may help teachers better enable students. A third component of the strategy that McRell researchers developed is a matrix of nine categories of technology, which help us look at the tools of technology and how we use them for instruction. Technology constantly changes, and the table has grown from seven categories in 2007 to nine categories today. The categories of technology shown in the table can help teachers look at technology and assess how different tools might serve learning objectives aligned with different instructional strategies. If we blend the categories of instructional strategies with the categories of technologies developed at McRell, along with using the framework for instructional planning, we can provide teachers with a roadmap for effectively integrating technology into instruction and perhaps more importantly, better prepare students to learn and navigate the world ahead.